Hello, my name is Dennis McNett, and I'm gonna show you how to make a wolf mask out of cardboard and paper mache today. Okay, so the first step is gonna be making a solid cylinder that fits your head, and this is gonna be the base of the mask. If you look at this underneath all this stuff, it's just a really simple cylinder there. So first you look at the cardboard and find which way the corrugation runs. Cut your piece of cardboard the length perpendicular to that. You can break it like this. And I usually just use the back of a Sharpie pen. And what that does is it's going to make the cardboard malleable. It's going to make it bend easier and a little more fluid, make it not look as boxy. Once you break the corrugation, it rolls up and it bends and it moves very easily. From here, I'll wrap it around my head. Mark where it overlaps and cut it. And then get you some two inch masking tape. And I always recommend the better stuff, not the cheap stuff, because it doesn't stick very well. And you're gonna tape that seam and create the outer part of the cylinder. I always tape that seam really good because this is the base. This is what you're gonna stick everything onto. You're gonna stick the snout on here. You're gonna cut the eyes out. You can put ears on. Before I add a top to the cylinder, I like to add a little dimension. Like I like the, the front of the wolf mask to slope down just a little bit. So I'll usually mark maybe an inch or so and just kind of cut that angle and know that the short end is going to be the front. So everything's going to slope forward. And then you want to take that cylinder base and trace it out. And then you're going to cut that out and attach it to the top. Once you tape this on really good, then you have that solid structure to add whatever you want to it. And that cylinder doesn't just have to fit your head. I'm showing you how to make a wolf mask. Maybe it needs to be a lot bigger than this. Maybe you're making a frost giant that lives in an ice castle on a frozen lake that you have to conjure. So I'll take this cylinder and put it on my head and kind of take my fingers and put them intuitively where my eyeballs are and then hold those two spots. Make a little mark so I know my eyeballs kind of fall right there and draw out some wolf eyes. And once you got those drawn, you want to cut these out. Now you have the start of your mask, the base. So next step on this is to make the wolf snout. You got the cardboard, broke the corrugation, so now it bends. So I'm probably gonna cut it like this and then I have the shape of the snout. So the next thing is putting the cap on the end of the nose. Just kind of hold that on there where I want it to land and mark it. And then I'll cut that piece out. Something that's really awesome about these is that and it's very forgiving. If something doesn't line up, you can trim it down with a blade. If it doesn't you know, fit right, you could bend it. So there's the snout that I just added. The next thing I will make on this is the two ears. It's super easy, just flip it over and trace it the opposite direction. Cut that out and you got two ears. If you want to toughen anything up, you can just double up this cardboard. If I were to cut another ear with the corrugation going the opposite direction, it just makes it that much stronger. There you go. Ears are on there, snouts on there. You can do all kinds of extra stuff. See, I added some brows on here, thickened up the front part of the snout and added some teeth. And then you just want to cover everything with tape and smooth the tape down as much as you can. And that'll give you a smooth surface. The real fun part is decorating this. 